Yeah! Hey, what's up? Welcome back to Vlogmas. I think so many times people think that all this stuff is easy. I'm gonna show you something you don't expect, so stay through to the end of the video so you can see a little bit of advice that you wouldn't get if you didn't watch a video like this. Okay, this is gonna be another little random impromptu cut open lights thing. I don't even know where to do it. Um, I'll just do it right here. So these gotta go. Here's the star of the show. Hopefully battery's looking good. Gotta get more of those from Milwaukee. But let's uh, set up shop here and go to town. Let's put the mat down. Okay, so this is gonna matter more because I'm gonna be cutting down at a weird angle. All right, that's good. I think that's gonna be my last thing that I peel. So I'm gonna cut all the way around the perimeter, all the way down here, and then up to that side. Because this is one piece, so you're gonna be able to see the cut line no matter where it's at. All right, sweet. So scary. Yo, that is crazy. That is like right in there. Freaking awesome. Um, okay, I'm gonna try something. So typically I'm not a big fan of using kind of like a flat head on stuff like this. No, never mind. I think. Uh, yeah, I did. You I got did. right there. I think. I think that's just the plastic melted. Oh, I could see it. I seize it. I think what I'm what I'm realizing with this tool right now is that it is really good if precision is not like a must. Oh, okay. So it seems like. I mean, it's doing the job. It really is, but it's not a super clean cut. Yeah, like ideally for something like this, you really do need to have the really expensive ultrasonic cutter, because otherwise, what you're gonna get is like, right now, what I did is I cracked the lens a tiny little oh. bit right here by doing this, because oh. I pried away up, oh. and then this snapped right there. Now these, to me. I kind of consider like throwaway taillights. Mm -hmm. So it's an interesting set to show because at the end of the day, I'll finish them up. They'll look fine. Mm -hmm. They'll be good to go and they'll look cool. And you know, we can, some guy with a TSX or TL or whatever the hell these things are, yeah. we'll get him and he'll be happy. But this is not the tool to use for that. Oh, batteries all F you. Oh, I see it. Right there, it's like, no, I don't want to. Damn it.
Yeah! Nice! That was such a dope ending! <laughs> oh, yeah! Alright, this is just for you guys. That's how not to do it. Yeah, buddy. Patience is key. <laughs> wow, that is wild. What happened? Uh, I didn't get through quite enough mm. past this little section right here. Mm. I thought I was, but just like, look at that's It's so thin, the amount of plastic that hadn't come yet. That's so crazy. Um, Oh, this is gonna be such a good video now. Oh, that one little pop that you just heard, that was it. That was all that was really left. But then what I was gonna have to do was figure out how to get this to come off from that, which as I can tell just from prying right now, I had a pretty long way to go. So this could have, had, this could have broken lots of different ways, but I think what's safe to say that this was done just to be able to pop off this little amber lens. The idea was that this was not supposed to be put in there and the manufacturer screwed up. And so they wanted me to do that and then put the lens back in. Problem is when a lens is ultrasonic welded shut, that means that this red piece of plastic is vibrated ultra quickly against this whole big big piece right here. This chrome is right on top of that gray plastic, right? So it's one piece, there's not internal parts. Okay, so if that is melted to this right there along that seam, you can't cut that seam unless you come at it from the side with something like this. And if you did do that, I'll show you what that would look like. So right now you have this, right? If you see right here, that's that little ridge where the gray meets the red, it's ultrasonic welded. So if you look on there, you've got this nice solid black line right there where it comes together. So I'm gonna use this tool really quick. I'm gonna cut through that section right where it's welded together. Right. That actually does not look bad. I don't know, <laughs> maybe I just didn't go far enough. Let's see, I'll, I'll cut it on this side so we can Wow. Yeah, it's basically like... So you can't really see it when you cut it. I left this gray behind. So now I'm gonna to try to do the same thing and just one little pat. This time I'm gonna be more aggressive and leave. Okay, so now I cut along the ultrasonic weld. So you can see that's the whole weld, meaning that's what's left over behind. And also what that means is once I get rid of all this slag, what you're going to have around the whole perimeter of the light is this cut mark. Now it's not to say that it's going to be really ugly, but it probably will be because being so close to this lens is what the difference is between scarring up this clear plastic, which can't be fixed. There are actually some techniques that you can use this weird vapor technique that will, um, it will take little scuffs off of acrylic. Um, but even this, you can tell, like I, I have to put a little screwdriver in here and try to chip away at this slag stuff that's in there. I can also use a razor blade. I try to break it right where it's at. It's difficult, no matter what. There's one thing that this is not, it's not clean and way more important than it not being clean, it's not workable now. Because I don't have an ultrasonic vibrating welding clamp tool thing like the big factory in China that made these things or Taiwan or wherever. I don't have that. Do you have that?
No, you sure don't. But what you have now is this perimeter all the way around the light. Now it has that weird worked on scuff. You can't get rid of that. Versus, look up here where I was cutting into the gray. Perfect line, looks good. And if you do a good job and you don't snap the lights in half like this, then you can actually achieve a really clean reseal because now when you go to put them back together, look at all that material that you have to work with. You can weld, plastic weld that back together, epoxy over it, and you do whatever you need to do and you won't really be able to see it because all of that plastic left behind leaves that good clean seal so you can get a really good clean look to it once you're done as opposed to where was it yeah as opposed to this top section right here so the bottom is clean you can have a nice clean edge versus the top I have nothing to work with now I would have to just goop in a bunch of glue or something right there and that my friends is why it's expensive to work on taillights it's why it's hard to work on taillights it doesn't get more real than me showing you break a taillight like i am good at taillights i just broke that thing in half i wasn't trying i took way too long on this project and because i filmed it now it's free now you're watching it and i want this to be part of taillights 101 which is a free course telling you how to open up taillights I'm going to put some old YouTube footage of me working on some Genesis Coupe tail lights in here. I'm going to do a whole bunch of stuff specifically to show you how to cut into lights. You know what? Better than that, I will put the new cutting into the tail light section in there. I want you to see it. I want it to be long form. I want you to understand that there's the tail lights that are one piece like that one. You cut it open. If you make a mistake, you'll see it. You can break the lens easy. Then there's type two where it's going to be um, sealed the same exact way but there's internal components and you can remove all those things out that can be a very difficult way or it can be easy the wrx very easy to open up um, but the lamborghini taillights that i'm going to do just like this sketchy right so that is going to be slightly different and then you have a third type and that's like the gtr where you pop them in the oven you separate the lens you put them back together this is old school jdm cars have that a lot so that's your three types of taillights very few can you actually pop in the oven and remove the lens. Some aftermarket lights are sealed with the sealant instead of being ultrasonic welded and they can be popped in the oven. Just depends what you got. Everything's going to be different, but now you at least have somewhat of a grasp on how things are sealed, why you don't want to do certain things and what can happen if you do the wrong thing. All right. All right. Tell me if you stayed till the end of the video. I'm guessing a lot of people didn't. Tell me if you knew about the three different types of taillights as well. And if you enjoyed this, smash the like for me and I'll see you guys tomorrow on Vlogmas.